So, the four minutes are our discussion program. I'm sure you know there. Um, again, my name is Anigo Nalani. Last hello for this course of education. So, before we proceed to the philosophies of education, let us now um, discuss first what is social philosophy. So, guys, ano, isa yun yung mo, mo kaya makapsa yung mind pag magandang yung social philosophy. Um, Anyone can answer to Maybe the study of the uh, mga social group or world yeah, they call like study of our society. Yes. So, um, social philosophy is the philosophy of human relations. Um, it studies about the social world. It is one of the main and important branches of philosophy. Why? Because it's the thoughts considers about our human or our thoughts um, considers about humans and how we socialize with other people like um, from the old ages up until the modern time. So some of the plus, um, social issues uh, present for the modern day are the following. Racism, visibility, cultural history, gender identity, and trans rights. So let's now proceed. Okay, naman tayo po guys. Understand na ba ng um, social philosophy? Then, okay. Let's now put, um, proceed to the um, philosophies of ed education. Namely, intercism, deconstructionism, utilitarianism, pragmatism, I think, and critical pedagogy. So first, for my part, which is empiricism, the word empiricism comes from the ancient Greek word imperial, which means experience. So its idea focuses about um, us gaining knowledge through our experiences in our five senses, like sight, hearing, taste, and touch. And according to other um, empiricists, they also recognize some kinesthetic sensation, like the sense of movement. Um, if, for example, sa bata pa ta, di ba hilig mong kahit na mag-explore? So, one of our exploration is na magagandagan sa asa, kaya lumalagay yung mga liwapag dita, niya 100% ay, 1,000% kaya ka anay si Ana. So, sa so, sige na itong dagandagan, di ba madas mga magagandaan na, Ana siya, muna siya ang isa sa mga isang post-center siya ng understanding. So, now, let's discuss with the problem about this theory. Um, an exclusive, this is an impression is an exclusive philosophy of knowledge, which is some, um, some thought na complete, incomplete siya. Why? I'll give you an, a simple um, example. Um, we cannot know in a stranger's house whether the cheese is on the table or not without looking or being informed by a reliable source. But in order to ask a question and understand the question na about the game naabasa naaba sa table ang cheese, dapat napatay ka si concept kung unsay cheese, tapos unsay meaning sa on, nest. So, muna siya ang kanang problem sa the guys. Kanang, di ba, ang thought na din ana, ang central point na din sa ang racism is kanang mag-gain ng pag-knowledge kung maka-experience sa anak mismo. So, kung sa kanang natin, kanang, ang, sa example ni, ni kanang, example is sabi na ako kayo, di yun sa lugar natin sa experience na nadara ang table, nadara sa cheese, ang anang table sa cheese, ang anang anang dito ang mga concept. So, wala tayo, wala tayo ang kanang kung previous understanding kung ang sinin ng cheese. Another example po guys, like, di ba, also magig kayo ka rin, dagang kumusta yung kurap kaya itong gobyerno na, na et cetera, et cetera. So, butangan ako na siya, at kung understanding lang ako na guys, ang mutin niya lang kami siya, isang post-emphasis lang. So, 
kung saan na ako pag-understand sa thought na ang gobyerno sa Pilipinas na corrupt, kung wala tayo basic understanding or key understand or key concept kung sa corruption, na-experience na itong corruption sa ito, ang mismo na-experience na ba ka na ang gobyerno good ko, kanang corrupt, ang sulukay nga ma-experience sa ito, ang mula siya siya sa concept or system, busa ang uban kay against siya or naik ay nang nadili sila at ulitin sa kanina kiri. That's all guys. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, uh, my topic is deconstructionalism. I'm not sure to the wall setting. Next slide. Next slide. So, um, First of all, what is uh, deconstructionalism? Deconstructionalism uh, is a philosophical theory of criticism, usually of literature or films that seek to expose the set-set contradictions in a work by the reading below its sources meaning. Deconstruction in the philosophy, the rational investigation of questions about existing and knowledge and ethics. So, ang um, deconstruction is sila yung nag-criticize o nag-question, nag-investigate sa mga bagay-bagay na malalim yung, um, malalim yung, um, malalim yung literature na yun. So example for this is um, uh, like a book. So ang book noon, binagamit ng 90s, binagamit ng 90s sa education, um, that book is uh, very useful sa kanila. So ngayon, uh, gagamit natin is yung, uh, uh, yung book natin ngayon is yun yung tinatawag natin ngayon ay eh, Constructionalism. Kasi yung book na yun is uh, Binip Construction. Uh, 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 ginawa siyang maliit, something uh, sa point of art. Ginawa siyang maliit na maliit. Kinuha yung importante na bagay, tapos uh, ginawa naman, sinalaki, baka ma-improve. Parang in-improve, i-restore lang siya. So yun yung pinatawag na Constructionalism. Next slide. Next slide. So, we have reconstructionalism. So, social reconstructionalism is a philosophy that emphasizes the addressing of social questions and to create a better society and worldwide democracy. Reconstructionalist educators focus on curriculum to highlight social reform as the aims of education. So, reconstructionalism uh, is ito yung, ito yung uh, mga bagay na kinukustom o kinukustasize ng deconstructionalism. Tapos siya yung sumasagot sa mga bagay na yun. So, abang uh, nasasagot na yung mga tanong, nag-improve yung society dahil doon. So, ang mga taong reconstructionalist uh, is yung mga taong mga edukator. At saka nakafocus sila sa mga things na about education lang paano lang improve yung education and and that's all and thank you part of utilitarianism so what is utilitarianism? it is coined by Jeremy Bentham and Stuart Mill so it states that an action is right if it tends to bring happiness or pleasure and it tends to produce unhappiness or pain so basically we, as human as we are we tend to do our everything based on our happiness and pleasure. Say, for instance, kailangan ta mag-study kay para makakuha tayong better grades, kay dara man ta ma-happy, dara ito ma-make proud at ang parents, and kung ma-proud sila, happy sa tana. So, utilitarianism, it is a form of consequentialism. 
it means that an action should be evaluated on the basis of their consequences. So for every action, dapat daw ato daw siya i- before ta magi mo sa itong act, ato sa i-weight down ang mga consequences niya. So, the nature of utilitarianism That's like the nature of utilitarianism. So, a person is out to act to maximize happiness or pleasure and minimize pain. So, it provides the greatest good for the greatest number. So, example sa utilitarianism is if nakahold ba mo aning uh, like scenario bitaw ka ng papilion mo na ay kuhan sa train, either you will save a, a life of a mother and a child or a life of those hundreds of people na mga addict. So, asa doon mo ito piliun, Anna, kung kapapiliun ka ng situation. Kung, kung utilitarianism na view ang imuang kuhan, syempre, yung option din, Anna, is kaya pag provide mo the greatest good for the greatest number, syempre, mas piliun mo ang life atong hundreds of people, although kuhan sila addict sila compared sa katong life sa sa mother and child. So, nga na ang view sa utilitarianism. It, it, you should consider the greatest good for the greatest number. So, ang instance, ani, as future educator said, it is our job as a teacher to, like, maximize, um, do whatever it takes to maximize the, the, the majority of the students to succeed academically. So, dapat yun, no student left behind kung utilitarianism philosophy uh, view atong sundun as future educators. So, yes. so, my topic is about pragmatism. So, this is actually a philosophical tradition that considers words and thoughts as tools and instruments for prediction, problem solving, action, rather than describing, representing, or mirror reality. So, if you say something, in words or you think of something it's not actually defining an object or a person it's just um a prediction or action um the example that i have is the comments it's from our thoughts that is um dominantly word so it's actually not describing um it is on only an opinion so my other example is Robin Hood. So for me, it's the most popular um, example of pragmatist. So for many people, he is a um, thief. But for poor people, he is just helping them to be fed with um, with their needs or like money and food. So um, another example that I have is a teacher that scolds a person. Um, if a teacher uh, scolds a uh, student, like he purposely told a child that he or she is weak. He's not a child as weak. He just wants that child to be um be better than being just a weak. So I think that's all. Good evening once again. Good day everyone. I am Crystal Rania and I'm sent to the Dairy Day School Build a New Social Order and Critical Pedagogy. Please connect. So, there is to build a new social order is a movement that promotes social welfare through education. So, it is a book by George Combs. So, George Combs was a major figure in the American education for almost 50 years. And it's in the 1920s. Then, he believed that only through schooling, could students be educated for a life in a world transformed by massive changes in science, industry, and technology. So the word only is a question na ano no, ang no, he only believed that ang schooling ng Jod ang maka-benefit maka, maka to mga students to be educated in life. So, he has a high view towards the importance of schooling. So, based on what the title is there, the school, he actually dared the teachers to build a new social order. So, um, first there is NASA teachers. So, he has um, criticism towards teachers' practices.
So teachers have the you know, responsibility to actively participate in the task of you know, reorganizing the democratic tradition and of this working positively towards a new society. So kanina niya is dili kanan teachers not agrees the kind of disagree and the attack in criticism. So this connects so, critical pedagogy. So, pedagogy is a method of teaching. So, in critical ped pedagogy, there is no such thing as neutral education process. It either functions as an instrument or it becomes the practice of freedom. Please connect. So, okay. so Paulo Freire had a book of the pedagogy of the oppressed. So, it emphasized the need to provide native populations with an education which was simultaneously new and modern rather than tradition and anti colonial. So, like, it's essential to provide native, popula sa native populations. And, uh, native populations are often uh, no, victims of oppression. So, so, provide the population with an education. So, dirik pala, makita nato nga ang pressure to do good to society sa sa education system. So, the oppressed, katong mostly mga negative population, um, so Freer believes that education should allow them to regain their sense of humanity and overcome their conditions. The oppressed individual must play a role in their liberation. So the oppressed must uh, ano, help themselves but para maka recover and maka experience of true freedom. So on the other hand on the other hand, instead of oppressors, so willing to rethink their way of life and examine their own role in the oppression. So now I quote today, those who authentically commit themselves to the people must re-examine themselves constantly. So, makonek natin yung social oppressors niya. They have to examine themselves to, to para mahimu na silang good people with the society na to. So, ako ang understanding with ano is, pwede po siya makonek sa teachers because teachers commit themselves to mga students. So, they have to re then in words, and if mag ano bitaw sila kanin mag reflection or mag examine themselves constantly to pra if naman sila yung malik nila buhat, pwede nila ma utro. Tas, ano, pwede nila ma utro into good bitaw yung utroon niya balik ko na lang. So, kanin next is, the education could not be divorced from politics and so, Freire believes, Freire believes that the act of teaching and learning itself are considered political acts in and the end of itself. So, Freire believes that teachers and students must be made aware of the politics that surround education. So, the way students are taught and what they are taught serves a political agenda. So, although ang teachers can have freedom, and di ba yung complete freedom, pero nasa likatungod niya magpili yung sa ilang tudlo and how they teach the students, naging plan sila ginasunod niya ano kaning educational system which is nagconform sa gyo kanya sa political agenda sa ating nation. Okay, at the end of the day, ang nation sa good sa nation sa gyo ako na nga to gina, kaning nga gina gusto bilang ano ang hitabo. So, I guess that's all. Thank you.